Coming to you live from wherever this is. I think its name is Team Kasky, but you never know. Um, no, I do not know how to use Kirby's copy ability, but whatever. Let's skip the intro anyways. And go to Popstar, because we are cool kids like that. And cool kids, of course, play games for children under the age of 10. Like Kirby 64. Um, this game is an educational game about pink fluff balls, turning into fireballs, destroying other enemies. And because of this, this led to it being an E-rated game, which of course is the highest rated game, which kids cannot play. Even though it obviously says E for everyone on the case. But now we have the Flame Sword, which is obviously the best weapon in the game, because this game is so age appropriate now. It makes it ten times more. Um, I guess E-rated, because we get to go and destroy enemies into flashing colors. Yeah, it, it, it's a game for cool kids. And hey, look, we can get your crystal shard that we can get. Um, that's always fun. Uh, other than that, we can just go on our merry way and run through the water and grab the maximum tomato and be happy. Because don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. Okay, anyways, we're out of the water cabin now. We're just going down this road because this game is a 2.5D game. One of the first of its time. <clears throat> nice cough. Um, dandelions. Those are always awesome. They're cool kids. Like some other kids. Like Gohan and Trunks and. Kirby, obviously Kirby. Kirby's a cool kid too. So is Mario. He's a cool kid. The only cool kid who isn't a cool kid is Sonic. He used to be a cool kid. He's not that cool anymore. I'll do a few of these of him one day, but enough of my rambling. Um otherwise than that, I don't really need to explain this group channel, do I? Because I would just be rambling, and I'm already rambling, actually. So let's destroy this Waddle Day because this guy is stupid and he throws me at the wall. He's a stupid homosexual fag. Um, anyways, let's just destroy him with our flame sword because we're cool kids. Like Lewis always says, because I'm just stealing his line. Yay! Crystal shard. I'm awesome. No, I'm not actually. I'm actually quite stupid, but, you know. Let's go after this one up. Oh, I missed the one up. Cry, Kirby. That's right, cry. Cry your heart out. Anyways, let's go on to the next level in the next world called the Wispy Woods. This is my favorite level ever. Because this is where I like in my old LP, which we will never ever talk about ever. Um, this is where I was like my most boring. And yeah. I've never actually beaten this game before, I've gone, my farthest was World 3, I'll beat the game, because this game is actually quite easy, from what I played, I'm not sure if World 4, 5, and 6 will kick my ass or not, but, you never know. Um, other than that, we are going around in this forest of Pokemon, and Bombermans, because Spikes obviously have eyeballs, you know. These things are just meant to be. And these jumping pancakes also. And also a spark. And, um... Hold on. Somebody just got out into the Skype group. Uh, yeah. I wanted a new ability, so you know what? I got rid of the other one. And got the awesome freeze ability. But not just the freeze ability is what I got. I get the super mega collection connection actually. One where I get to turn into a fucking squirrel. Yeah, that's right. I'm that cool. Anyways, we're not gonna take the actual shaft that we're supposed to stand on. We're gonna stand on Waddle head because he doesn't deserve to I'm gonna turn into a snowball and obviously fail. So let's just catch up with this thing if we can, which we probably won't be able to do, because then I die. And too bad snowballs don't help you fall, but you know. 
it's just obviously fan fan fiction. Because autumn is obviously the best season of the year. Let's just stand here and enjoy the trees. Because the trees are cool. The trees are my favorite people in the universe. I mean seriously. Uh, what else to do today? Um, we're planning on making a pot. Oh wait, no. There's a bunch of stars over there. Why don't I drop down and get it? Because we obviously need that crystal shard to get a good ending in this game. Um, let's just jump over the Waddle Dee and go down here. Which leads to going down there. Which leads to going all the way down there. There's one up there, but I didn't get it. So let's just get these springy things and shoot at that other big springy thing. I don't care to name any of these Kirby enemies because they're basically like non existent. I know if you would go at Slum Kirby these things, you would, uh, he would obviously give you all the answers, but I'm not like Slum Kirby and I don't care for characters' names. I can't call them like that. Like this thing. I call it a fluffy. Like, I call that thing a pink Goomba. Well, actually, a lot of other people call it that, but... And I call that thing a... Spider. Oh, wait, it is a spider. Never mind. And I call that thing a mummy. And I call that thing a porno. Because it's anti. Anyways, Painter Kid gets all mad because we destroyed his beautiful paintings. Um... Since we don't have any items, we just have to obviously run into him, or actually use his ice blocks, because we obviously don't have an item. But it doesn't matter, because it's pretty easy. Okay. Now that that's done, we get to face off against a big black eyeball. Yeah, I guess that's what the right term is for it. A big black eyeball. Definitely. Mm. There we go. And this kid just comes over and tries to kill us with his paintbrush, but we just run into him and he obviously dies. And that ends off that level with Ness the Painter. Um. Yay, we get a piece of meat because pieces of meat help you, I guess. And now on to Peach's Castle because I love this level. This level is so cool. It's It takes 2.5D to its limits. I mean, seriously. All these pink Goombas and that castle, like Mario theme. Oh, it's just so cool. I wish I had that every day and I fail. <laughs> Don't, but alas, we get our fire sword back because our fire sword is cool. Other than that, let's go on the bridge because the bridge is for kids like us who know our way around. Okay. Okay, let's go up here. And destroy him. Destroy that. And destroy that pink Goomba because these floating platforms are obviously in every 2D, 2.5D platformer game. Sorry if you can hear what I'm saying. Puff up and go up there because up there is where the cool kids go. And yeah. The cool kids are the cool kids on the cool message.
Ness is always a cool kid. This is actually one of the times where I didn't know there was a crystal shard, and then I look behind me and, oh look, there's a crystal shard. Don't worry, I go back and get it, and I'm just like, what the... There's a crystal shard back there. So let's go back there with our flame sword, and get it, because we need that badly. We need to get the best ending out possible, uh, possible in this game.